हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर शाहरे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टडी डबल इंटीग्रेशन एंड दिस इज माय फिफ्थ लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन इनटू पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स बट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट दिस पोलर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू पोलर कॉर्डिनेट्स इज यूजफुल if and only if our integrand involves the term x square plus y square if integrand involves the term x square plus y square or if region of integration is a part of circle so in two cases we use this polar transformation if integrand involves x square plus y square or if region of integration is a part of circle or if it is asked to solve double integration by using polar transformation so in this three situations we use this polar coordinates okay so let me explain working procedure of transformation into polar coordinates so there are three steps so in first step from the limits of given integration we write the equation of boundaries and we sketch the region of integration for example suppose you have given this double integration okay and suppose it is asked to transform this integration into polar coordinates then first of all we write the boundaries from the given limits we write the boundaries okay so if you observe here limits of x are 0 to twice a so here r is bounded by x equals to 0 x equals to twice a okay and that of y is equals to 0 and y is equals to under root of a square minus x square but this y equals to under root a square minus x square represent circle x square plus y square equals to a square okay while sketching the region of integration you take care of two things limits of x gives us left boundary and right right boundary that of limits of y gives us bottom and top lower limit of x represent left boundary of region upper limit of x represent right boundary of region and that of lower limit of y represent bottom of region and uh, upper limit of y represent top of region okay so you remember these four things okay here i mentioned this remember limits of x gives us left and right boundaries and limits of y gives us bottom and top okay so carefully we write boundaries and we sketch the region of integration after this in second step we use polar substitution x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta and that of value of x square plus y square is equals to r square and that of dx dy is equals to r dr d theta so i have to remember this substitution okay so remember these four values then in step 3 after drawing sketch of region of integration after transforming uh, or uh, after using polar substitution in step 3 we take triangular strip in cartesian integrations uh, uh, we had considered uh, either vertical strip or horizontal strip but in polar form we use triangular strip starting from origin and this triangular strip is fixed at origin okay and along this triangular strip we find limits of r and theta so that our integration i equals to double integration f of x y dx dy is transformed into integration where theta varies from theta 1 to theta 2 r varies from f1 of theta to f2 of theta f of r theta and here dx dy is replaced by r dr d theta so this is the working procedure of transformation of double integration to polar form so with the help of this we are going to solve few examples let us see first example evaluate integration from 0 to a integration from 0 to under root of a square minus x square under root of x square plus y square dx dy <coughs> so if you observe here integrand involve this integrand involve x square plus y square that's why we use here polar substitution okay so 
before using polar substitution first we draw the sketch of region of integration so here region is bounded by or before that we denote given integration by i and we identify limits okay so if you observe limits of inner integration it involve variable x that's why it is not limit of x that mean it is limit of y so i equals to here, here inner integration represent limits of y so y varies from 0 to under root of a square minus x square so obviously outer integration represent limits of x that is from 0 to a okay under root of x square plus y square so inner integration is with respect to y that's why first we write dy and then we write dx okay now we write the boundaries so here r is bounded by x equals to 0 x equals to a then y equals to 0 and y equals to under root of a square minus x square and this y equals to under root of a square minus x square is nothing but x square plus y square equals to a square and this represent circle having center center of the circle is 0 0 and its radius is its radius is a right so first of all we make the sketch okay so y axis x axis then origin so if we draw all these four curves we get this equation uh, this curve okay now we we identify the region of integration previously i told you that lower limit of x represent left boundary so here lower limit of x is 0 so x equals to 0 that is y axis this is left boundary means our region lies on right side of this x equals to 0 means this side okay then x equals to a this is what upper limit of x so it represent right boundary means our region lies on left side of this x equals to a means our region lies between these two straight lines okay so our region lies between only this this patch okay now limits of y gives us bottom and top so lower limit of y represent bottom okay so lower limit is y equal to 0 that is x axis this is bottom means our region lies above this x axis then towards left right side of x equals to 0 and towards left side of this x equals to a also top of the region is circle so our region of integration is nothing but this first quadrant of circle so this is our region of integration now we take one triangular strip in this region so oh, this strip is fixed at origin so this is our triangular strip and along this triangular strip we find limits of r and theta so if you observe this strip this strip moves in anticlockwise direction because we measure an angle in always anticlockwise direction so, so uh, this strip start from here and moves up to this point so at this point theta is equals to 0 and up to this point theta is equals to pi by 2 so along this strip our theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 okay so region is shown by shaded region now we take triangular strip in r triangular strip in r along this strip this strip gives us theta equals to 0 to theta equals to pi by 2 and r equals to now if you observe this triangular strip touches to origin at origin also there is shaded region so r is equal to 0 and lastly it touches where this triangular strip touches where this triangular strip touches to circle and uh, our equation of circle is x square plus y square equals to a square so we transform this equation into polar form so using polar form we know x square plus y square is equals to r square so r square is equals to a square that means r is equals to a okay so r varies from 0 to a
okay so these are limits in polar form and hence our integration i transform into ha huh, before that we write polar substitution okay so for polar form we put for polar form we put x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta dx dy equals to r dr d theta and that of x square plus y square is equals to r square due to this transformation our integration takes the form integration where theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 we always take constant limits out, outside so if you observe here limits of theta are constants so here integration becomes integration where theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 r varies from 0 to a we always take integration of theta outside remember this okay then under root of x square plus y square but we know in polar form value of x square plus y square is r square that's why here we get under root of r square under root of r square into dx dy or dy dx value of dx dy in polar transformation is r dr d theta and hence we get this integration okay now we evaluate inner integration first so here inner integration is with respect to r so under root of r square is r so we get r square dr and integration of r square dr is r cube by 3 and we apply limits from 0 to a okay now by applying limits we get a cube by 3 and lower limit is 0 this a cube by 3 is constant we take it outside means we take only integration of d theta and its integration is theta apply limits from 0 to pi by 2 and hence our integration is a cube pi upon 6 okay thank you